on my energy though is the fool underneath that you have the chariot the laminated stuff is co cool and all i like it but this is it's annoying when you're trying to show a card and the glare is like mm, let me just mess this up a little bit it's like okay thank you nobody asked you to do that but anywho let's get into it so you're uh you're, you're in my energy about starting something new, taking a leap of faith, just trusting yourself, especially considering that you have to trust that there may be some things that are out of your control. You're going to be experiencing things and that's okay. Because what is the chariot underneath? It talks about control. It talks about steering the chariot, controlling yourself. And that's the only part of yourself that you really have the control over. That's also cancer as well, which is your seventh house. So it makes sense that with it comes relationships, you may be tapping into a very emotional side. But the thing that may be very difficult for Capricorns out there, anybody that has control issues, especially with the fixed signs out there, no offense, fixed signs that may be watching this or cross watching or anything like that. You guys are good. You're solid. The reason why y'all don't like so you can live leap of faith doing things that are different because you guys keep all of us solid and you have a certain way of doing things. That's not a bad thing. But like I was saying before, but the fool coming up is your underlying energy. There may be a leap of faith that's necessary or that's, that's take, that needs to kind of happen for yourself. So things can really, like, it's, it's not, necessarily, not necessarily so things can happen. Um, Obviously, it's going to happen if you take a leap of faith. But more so... Trusting in the, the universe to do its work without you controlling it. It's hard to do, right? Trusting in the universe that you've trusted yourself, gotten to where you got where you are now, just by your willpower and diligence and controlling of yourself. But just now it's like, right, cool, you got that under control. Now it's about releasing that control. It's, it's amazing. Now, for some of you guys, the challenge is the hermit. For some of you guys, you may, you, the situation is that you guys, yeah, you've done a little bit more than just uh, soul searching and looking within yourself and trying to find some sort of answers. Like, the challenge is having to do with having the courage to get the fuck out of the situation in the first place. Not to be, you know, I'm just saying it is what it is, right? It's honestly the truth is that you've been in this situation, in the closet, in the dark, keeping away from folks for so long that it's kind of, it has in a way worn away the confidence you were building when you were going in there for soul searching, for building yourself up. The challenge is no longer finding yourself, as now it's about finding the courage in yourself to take this, this leap of faith that the fool is trying to indicate to all of us. And that's hard to do, especially if you've been, like I said, been there for a reason, perhaps because you were feeling like there was something lacking within yourself. There's something that was missing that you were incomplete. Staying away from the world because you're incomplete actually makes you worse. It doesn't actually help the situation, doesn't help you, it helps no one. Um, and the reason why I say this is because the more you keep yourself from experiencing the world, the less information you you you'll be able to utilize to when you go back to reflecting to help yourself grow to add those perspectives and the the final touches because that's what the nine of pentacles this excuse me the hermit card is for me because this is if someone that's fine tuning themselves before this this new birth opportunity comes in which is the ten of ten of cups why is this card why is this table jiggling so much anywho yeah so. Yeah. So yeah. So the past here is the Queen of Swords. So some of y'all may have cut somebody off. May have done some things that may have not been very easy to do for not just you, but for the, for, to receive by other people. Queen of Swords does what she has to. She knows she does what she believes is right. That doesn't necessarily mean that she her heart's in the place that she wants to be when she does those things. This is just the things that she does. This is just what she knows is correct to serve, you know, within her boundaries. If you cross that line, she's gonna have to cut you. You know what I mean? She has that sort of boundary there to protect her emotions because those things because her emotions are very they're very, you know, valuable, very, you know, very sacred to her. Now think about every air sign. Every air sign has a water placement in the second house. Their emotions are something that are greatly of value. So of course they're going to be very cold and very distant because they're not going to put their heart there for you to just destroy. Now this is the same thing for y'all I feel because your guys' fifth or second house is a core is, is air air any in the first place. So you guys, you know, you know, none of you guys you have the capability to be very 
very good at cutting people because you don't, you know, you want to put, protect that soft energy in itself. Because think about it, even though earth can be hard and dry and rough, it can also have the capability to be soft and very fertile. You know, and it's, it felt like somebody may have either stepped across the line, you may have cut them off, or you may have to cut them off. Or anyway, this could have to do with somebody that you may have been directed with in the past. Aries, Leo, excuse me, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody that you may have had a situation with. Maybe they cut you off. Maybe you had communication with them. Either way, it may not have been the best, or they may not have, you know, felt that great because of the because when it comes to swords, emotions are void. They're not important. They're not of any concern. Now, in the present, though, you do have the Four of Wands. You guys may be in a relationship with this Queen of Swords, or you guys may have gotten to a place where you're feeling very stable, but you know what I'm about to say. Yeah, it's a good spot. It's a good, great, great place, and I feel like this is, yeah, I can understand this is exactly what you wanted. You want to be in a place of great celebration and all, but that's crossing the Four of Pentacles, and this situation is still talking about the Hermit, so... Okay, well, as long, well, it's great to be in a place where you're ready to expand and all, but are you actually ready to expand? Are you ready to go for it? It doesn't matter if you have enough, right? Because it's like, you'll get it. You'll get what you need if you just believe that you know which, that you're ready to go. It's not about having the materials. It's not about having the, 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 um, the, the, the tools. It's about just being emotionally and mentally ready. Are you ready? Because that's all that matters. Emotionally and mentally ready because the other stuff will come. The tools, the physical stuff, that'll come. And the, then I feel like that's the thing, right? Four of Wands. It's a good card. Celebration. Higher place, a higher place of commitment, of stability. Um, being in a very, very nice area, you know, very nice place. So, you know, even moved. But the point of it all is, right? It's like if it's good enough or if it's like, this whole, like, again, something's lacking regarding this. What do you feel is lacking within yourself? Because it's not about the situation of the environment, the surroundings, as if you're ready to expand. And I feel like you may actually be ready to expand. You just don't necessarily trust yourself right now. Or, tr you know, just, you know, trust the process. Now, the fu future showing these pentacles is this new beginning with the potential of stability and security. Like I said before, that's no guarantee. But you are definitely going in that direction in which you are going to build something long term and stable. Like it's just that it is what it is. And I feel like that's exciting. It's new and it's definitely in which you were trying to build in the first place. But the thing is, right, and I'm gonna show you the ace of pentacles really fast before we move on to the goal aim ambition, which is the four of cups. Your goal ambition is to perhaps accept something perhaps i don't think it's to reject because obviously with this new beginning here i don't know i feel like you guys may want to reject it especially if you don't feel like you're ready some of you guys you may want to take it but you have this reluctance to take it because you don't feel like you're ready now for some of you guys as well you may be afraid of being rejected from somebody not because you're not ready but because you know this person has had has history of rejection rejecting people because you do have the five of cups, the five of pentacles there and the four of cups. That to me is the rejection. Those two reject. The queen of swords rejects people. She will accept them too, depending on how they are. If they come with her to the, come to her with the truth. Now you have to come with this and come to this individual with the truth. You know how they are. The last thing you want to do is play around and mess your chances up. But I feel like if you go in full sweat, you know, full, full garments, truthful, honest, nothing, you know, this person will not reject you. But it's about this feeling and this, this reckon. It's just like you have to recognize that what's important is within yourself, it's in your heart and your mind. Those two are the most important because the four of pentacles, the four of cups in my, in your goal ambition. I feel like it's to be seen because right now you may be the ace of cups behind this person here that's sitting with these cups in front of them. You may be that person saying, wait, I, I want to offer you love, but perhaps you're just not really there in the first place for them to see it so they can truly see you and accept it, per, per, potentially accept it, right? It's like, I'm in a good place. I'm in a good place. So great. Are you in a good place emotionally and mentally? If that's if that's the case, 
then you will definitely make sure that that cup becomes right in front of that individual's face because right now you're not being seen. I never read the four of cups as the person that's offering the cup as the ace of cups, as the, you know, the ace of cups. I never read it like this, but I get this feeling that there is some sort of like desire to push forward, to want more, to expand. But the thing is, is that nobody sees you doing it because you haven't necessarily made it apparent that you have been. I feel like you're around, that you're, that you're available and you know where you want, where you stand, but it's about the effort in the, in the movement now. It's about taking action and going forward and just allowing, releasing control you know what I mean? Just letting the universe do its work as you do yours. Let it have that. It, uh, let it have their role, and you take on yours, which is just being the human being and living in this experience. So I feel like with that four of cups, it's like yes, you you know what, you know what, you just have to just take your chances right now, and see what happens. There's nothing wrong with that. If, and that's why I feel like that's why you need confidence because they don't matter. It won't matter what they decide or we won't matter if they reject you or not. It won't matter because you feel like it, it won't be a waste of time for you. It would just give you a new opportunity to figure out a different way to go about doing stuff. It, it, it makes, it doesn't do anything to you. So what are you protecting with this queen of swords? Like, I feel like y'all protecting something big. That's the whole reason why this is coming up anyway. It's more it's more than just the person from the past that maybe you're afraid of rejection because this person you may not have been honest with in the past. But this is more about you. What have you who have you cut off to protect yourself because you were afraid? Or maybe you you just couldn't take you couldn't handle the fact that there was some sort of lack of control. You know? Because there's a reason why we don't we don't you know do certain things, especially with the chariot coming up. It's a certain thing. Yes, if it's control, I can see y'all doing that. You know, I can see you like saying, you know what, maybe I need some space. I need to believe that I have all the control that I need before getting in a relationship that makes me feel like I do. I can relinquish that. Now the nine of cups in your out external. I don't know why I always read the freaking external energy as the outcome. But you have the Nine of Cups coming up here. This is your heart's desire. This is everything you need. You're content. You're solid. But are you? You are good, but you are not good. How are you this, this hermit energy with the Five of Pentacles, but you have the Nine of Cups? I feel like your wish is to to move to a certain, you know, to be in a solid place, to be in a stable area. I think you guys are. I know I think you know where you are, but I feel like you always want the relationship to establish. I think that's your wish. Like you already are in a very stable place, but you want to have that relationship. You want to move this connection to a higher place. And your outcome may be that it may I feel like it could happen. Two of cups. Feel it two people feel the same way, y'all. If you feel the same way. About this person, they feel the same way about you. If you feel the same, if you feel a certain way about yourself, they feel the same way about you. It all depends. It all comes back to the self, how you see yourself. It's very interesting how this world works. Well, that was a disaster. Let me push this all back. All right. Let's see what y'all got for the wisdom of the oracle, because I can go on for hours. Or just, you know, yeah, talking about one thing. It's like, look, girl, we got stuff you got to do this week. All right, okay. Let's see what's going on. Okay. See, I like that serendipity. That talks about luck being on your side. Okay, so luck is be is on your side. You have everything that you need to take care, take control, take power. You know, do what you need to do, which is take a leap, jumping. You know, going to you know, 
take a leap of faith here with this person relinquish this need to control every facet of your life and let the universe do what it's always been doing which was bless us with opportunities that we thought we may not be able to get or maybe even realize don't even realize that we've been wanting it this is a talk of, that talks about good luck guys you have this luck here let the universe treat you but do the work you know i mean do what's need, needed to even experience serendipity. In this experience, perhaps, has to do with embrace, embrace the feminine. Like I was saying before, feminine energy is passive energy. It's a very yin sort of energy. It's allowing you to be, which is what the fool's asking you to do. Experience life without any expectations, without trying to force something to happen. The only thing that's asking you to do anything is to just do what you feel that is right for you. Be in the moment, be in your feelings, but be in the moment and let the universe do its thing. Let it, the universe just be because you have good luck with this. You don't need to control any of it and you don't even need to worry about if the person will accept you or reject you or not. This is about taking risks and learning how to just, learning how to recover from taking risks. And I feel like you've done it already. You've either dealt with the rejection of some sort or you've rejected somebody else or you've put somebody away. You put somebody away. But the purpose of this, th that situation was to learn and find out who your, sh where your strengths are, where your weaknesses are. So you can realize that your weaknesses are not weaknesses at all. They're strengths and how to heal those aspects about yourself that you may feel are weaknesses. So that way you can become impenetrable. But the only way for you to do that is to really have faith. And faith is knowing as a friend of mine tells me, and you have to know that what you, what you believe belongs to you will be yours. That's the thing. If it belongs to you, it is yours. Going into it thinking that you may not have a chance, you may perpetuate that chance. The luck is on your side, though. Trust in the universe. Trust yourself. And just do the best that you can with what you have. That's all it's ever even asking you. It's all it's asking you, y'all. Just be you. Do you. Just And let the universe let do its job. Because you have luck on your side right now. You may be surprised at what's to come. You know, you may not, but either way, let let yourself be blessed.